Welcome to From Betrayal to Breakthrough, and here is a mini dose of Dr. Debbie where I'm sharing tips, suggestions, strategies, and sometimes just motivation to have you move past your betrayal once and for all. You know, the biggest obstacle we have to our healing physically, mentally, and emotionally, it's getting past ourselves. And that's what I love so much about what's happening today. Dr. Debbie here. Today is the first day of our five-day Trust Again Intensive, the self-love edition. And think about it. When trust is shattered, you don't trust the person who shattered the trust. You don't trust yourself. So you can't trust in anything and anybody. But there are so many people who have registered for the Trust Again Intensive and they're trusting in me and they're trusting in Post-Betrayal Transformation and the PBT Institute enough to give it a try because they know when you heal trust, you can feel safe again, you can love again, you can trust again. But it's that getting past yourself. Think about it. What have you wanted to do, but you were your biggest obstacle? And if you just stepped aside, healing would happen, whether it's physically, mentally, and emotionally. I know when I look back, there are so many things I did to prevent myself from healing, from that next level of uh, of whether it was physical, mental, and emotional, to move past my betrayal, move past shattered trust. But when you do your best life, is waiting. So I am in such awe and I admire so much the people I'm going to meet for the first time in just a few hours at the Trust Again Intensive. So if that's a fit for you, check it out. Just take a look at the page. See, trust your gut. It never lies. People do. Your gut never lies. If it's a fit, join us. And that's just at the PBT, as in post-betrayal transformation, the pbtinstitute.com forward slash trust dash intensive. We're going to learn to love again, feel safe again, trust again. So if you're in your own way, get past yourself and hopefully I'll see you there. So why is pity a good thing? Dr. Debbie here. I'm working with a member from within the PBT Institute and she was ghosted absolutely ghosted by this guy who she thought this was it. He's the greatest guy ever. But after a string of relationships that ended kind of like this, she's like, that's it. I've had it. I want to know how to end this once and for all. And at first, and what was so typical about what she had done in the past was whenever a relationship ended, she was of course really sad, but that's where she stayed. It was like the, the sadness was what's wrong with me? What's my problem? What did I do wrong? What should I have done differently? And what I've seen so often is we go from sadness to anger where it's like, I'm so sad. Why, you know, why did this happen to really, this is what you do. And then we move to pity. Not that pity is a good thing, but pity is like, really? That's what you have to do? And the and then eventually we move towards compassion. That's when you know you're good. But what's so great about moving from, let's say, sadness to anger to pity is it's like we go from being in the picture where this is happening to us and we can't understand it and we, we're just personalizing the whole thing and trying to make sense out of it and we just don't we just don't get it and there's something about pity where it's almost like now we've taken ourselves out of the picture and we look at it and we see it for what it is and what was so great was she had an opportunity to to speak to this guy again and after this conversation realized He's no different. He's never going to be different, or at least at this point in time in his consciousness, this is as good as it's going to get. And she actually felt bad because this is all he's going to bring to whatever relationship he goes into. So when you move from that sadness to anger and eventually get to pity, it's a good thing. Remember, that's when you go from being in the picture where you're just personalizing the whole thing. It's all about you and what happened to you and why aren't you enough. And there's something about going to pity where you step out of it and you look into the picture and you see it clearly for what it is. And you see, even though it happened to you, it's not about you. So hope that helped. And we're taking all of this on during the Trust Again Intensive, which starts Monday. So join us at the PBT, as in post-betrayal transformation, the pbtinstitute.com forward slash trust dash intensive. I'll see you there. Are you hacking away at the symptoms or dealing with the root cause? Dr. Debbie here. I want to share with you what I see so many people do. And at the root of the issue is an unhealed betrayal. But because of the unhealed betrayal, here are are the most common symptoms that we see. 
thyroid issues, totally common. Adrenal issues, digestive issues, that could be anything. Crohn's, IBS, diverticulitis, constipation, diarrhea, you name it. Weight gain, maybe in the beginning you can't hold food down, later on you're using food for comfort. Sleep issues, you can't sleep. Anxiety, right? Immune issues, joint pain. So here's what I see. I see people taking something for their thyroid, taking something for their adrenals, taking anything to help them digest and feel better, trying to go on some sort of weight loss program to deal with the weight issues, taking something to help them sleep, taking you know mood stabilizer, anti-anxiety medication, doing anything to get their immune system stabilized, taking something for joint pain. And while that's all well and good, at the root of it, can very likely be this unhealed betrayal. So you know what happens? When you actually deal with the betrayal and you move through it and we have a five, I mean, there are the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough. I did the study, it's been proven. There are five stages we go through if we are to fully heal, going from symptoms of post-betrayal syndrome, these are all very common symptoms, to that place of post-betrayal transformation. We're going to go through five now proven predictable stages. And when you do, what happens is, all of these things get dealt with. So instead of this game of whack-a-mole where you're just sort of hacking away at the symptoms, what happens is when you deal with the root cause, all of these things naturally heal. So I invite you to join us for the Trust Again Challenge where we will take all of this on uh, thepbtinstitute.com forward slash trust dash challenge. If you, you find that you're struggling with many of these symptoms, it's a really good chance betrayal and unhealed betrayal is at the root of it. And here's the thing, the betrayal could have happened decades ago, decades ago. So any of these symptoms, it's not fair to you. That's not saying that all of these symptoms will absolutely 100% be tied to an unhealed betrayal, but I tell you, we've had over 50,000 people take the post-betrayal syndrome quiz and many, many, many of these symptoms are directly tied to that unhealed betrayal. So take a look. Are you hacking away at the symptoms or getting to the root? I'll see you next time. You need the right tools, support, and the right community to move through the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough. And we have all that within the PBT Institute. So join us at the PBT, as in post-betrayal transformation, thepbtinstitute.com. There's a version of you who's so confident, healthy, peaceful, and happy on the other end of your healing. And we can't wait to help you get there. We got you. Thanks for listening. And here's to your breakthrough.